My name is Robert Muli. I come from Mwala in Machakos County. And uh, my profession, I'm an instructor in a seminary, as well as a business development services trainer and coach with a company based in Nairobi called Hayden Consulting. Uh, we are implementing the Kenya Youth Employment and Opportunities Project, uh, which is financed by the World Bank. Yes, currently I'm single, even though I'm in the process of getting married. In the year 2003, one day I was coming home from work. That time I was working as a high school teacher. So as I was, I was walking home, I was hit by a vehicle from behind and immediately my left leg was totally crushed. When I was taken to Machakos Hospital, level five hospital, I had to go through amputation. I was amputated. And that is what happened. That is why I'm here. After the amputation, it was very difficult for me because I could not walk as I used to. Life, it was like life had been turned upside down. But I was fitted with a, a prosthetic leg at the, at the hospital where I was at Machakos. But the way it was constructed, walking became a painful experience. I could not walk well, so I had to throw that away. I went to another provider. I was fitted with another one, which I've been using for some years, but it also had problems. It was short. It was causing blisters to develop in my, my leg, and I could not walk straight. So I had a very difficult time walking. Remember, my, my other leg was also broken during the accident, so I could not go anywhere. Even moving to the toilet, I had to be carried to that place. I could not do anything. There is a time even we acquired a wheelchair, so it had to be pushed by a member of my family. I was being looked down by some members of my family, and it reached a, st a stage whereby I had to move from my the, the father's household, I had to migrate and move and build in a separate place. There was that kind of rejection. It's like they didn't see me as the person they knew. It's like I was not useful anymore. There are things I used to do. For example, I, I, I was a member of a karate club. So you can see now, jumping the way I used to jump, throwing my feet after the accident, Actually, it became impossible. I could not do that. So I, it was like I had lost something. Guys could do anything they wanted to do to me. Going to the bathroom is also a challenge because you have to sit on a stool. So when you go out and you are in the field and probably you, you, you get accommodation in a hotel with your colleagues, you have to go and request for some more assistance so that you can be able to use the shower. So there are so many things. You cannot carry, for example, I cannot carry a load as I used to, to do. It is very difficult. Exercising, the kind of exercise I used to do, I am not able to do it today because of what happened after the road accident. Yeah, because of the challenges I was going through, I started searching in the internet uh, I wanted a, a provider who could fit me with a good prosthetic leg because I wanted to start living my life afresh. And in the process of searching, I learned about Ottenburg. I contacted them even before they came to Nairobi, Kenya, in the year 2018. And they told me, instead of doing all that work while they are in Germany, I can wait. They were, they were planning to come to Nairobi. So after waiting for some years, they finally came to Nairobi and I came to see what they were, what they were doing, what they had to offer. So when I came to Hotombok, what I saw is something totally different. I expected them to be doing plaster casting, but what I found are computers and scanners. So they scanned me and then they processed the, the, the socket through that technology. Because when you are scanned, 
the information is actually uploaded into their, their database and it is processed, even if it is being processed from another country. So my life has begun to change because, as you can see, the way I'm walking, even when you look at my face, you can see the face is shining because things have become better than they used to be. Walking is easy, the new device is comfortable, I am not depending on anybody at home. I work, I walk, I can walk the whole day and I will not suffer any pain in my, in my stump. My future is bright. My future is bright because I will be able to do anything the ample bodied people can do. So I'm hoping as I graduate with my PhD in the month of May this year, I will be able to run. If all their beauties actually get prosthesis, they are going to become productive and they will be taking part in building the nations where they come from.